Well, happy Saturday, folks. We got the makings of a trench going on here. Uh, yeah, you see I've already got a bit of a curve. But hopefully I'll get things straightened out and we'll make a run straight for the uh, west side of the house there. But uh, things are going pretty good. The uh, rental company called yesterday afternoon to confirm I still wanted the uh, excavator and told me it would be sometime mid-morning for those of you who follow me on Facebook. I woke up this morning at 7.30 and stepped outside and there it was sitting down here by the mailbox. <laughs> so much for mid-morning. So I had zero instruction on how to use this thing so I've been figuring it out all on my own. Uh, my neighbors uh, George and Lisa came down because Lisa has actually operated an excavator in a limited capacity uh, over on her place. Um, so she gave me a few pointers and was helping me out. We have an average depth of right around 30 inches right now. I'm going to set you down. Uh, the electric cable has to be a minimum of 24 inches deep and it has to have 6 inches of stone free soil underneath of it and above it. So 24 plus 6 is 30. So I'm going for a 30 inch uh, average depth. I will smooth out the bottom with a hand shovel. That won't be too hard, uh, hopefully. And uh, we'll be good to go. Uh, there's a few places I got too deep and you know everything's pretty much at 30 inches. Anyway, I'm going to get on the... I'm getting ready to move actually. So I'm going to uh, move you up fairly close here. I think that's a 12 inch bucket that might be 14 or 16 but uh, I'm going to put you up here where you can see Let's see if I can sit this thing down so it holds it steady sorry for the erratic movement there all right let's uh, lengthen that a little bit so, there so I'm going to back the excavator up and get ready for the next section we're just about uh, well, I've just started punching through the stone wall that runs east and west down through this tree line where I'm going through. Be right back. Actually, I'm not going anywhere. I'm ready to move.
30. Just going to be more of the same. That's a little better than 30 inches. That's just fine. So now you see how it's done. I'm figuring out how to work this excavator. So uh, I'm going to reposition and uh, I think I'll go ahead and put this camera away because it looks like it wants to rain. But uh, back in a bit. Well, we were doing pretty good until we got to about that point right there. And uh, I think we've hit into some rock ledge. Because I cannot get the uh, teeth of that bucket down any deeper. And I can't get the bottom of the hole deep enough to even pretend that uh, I'm going to be down deep enough to make uh, the inspectors happy. Because it just keeps going more and more shallow. Which means I'm probably going to wind up with ledge, you know, maybe a foot or less under the topsoil there. So uh, now I've got to stop and think. I've spent the money for a weekend for that bobcat. And uh, it may not do any good now. I got through the rock wall all right, but there appears to be some ledge under there. So uh, I've got to do some thinking. And right now I don't have any idea what I'm going to do because I'm not a professional excavator operator. Yeah, that. So uh, I'll be back when I find out something. Gee, I think I just had a hummingbird or something small, maybe a nut hatch. Anyway, I'll be back when I get something figured out later on. Well, we uh, came up with a solution. My brother showed up. You can see the ledge came right up to the surface here in this one spot. However, the rule says the cable has to be 24 inches below grade. There's nothing saying we can't raise the grade. And I have a big old pile of dirt down there from when the uh, road guys cleaned out the ditches last summer. So I can very easily just make a hump here, raise the grade. Uh, the ledge dropped off and we've been uh, Hitting our target depth, which we found out from the uh, up to the top of the bucket there, is actually our target depth of 30 inches. Brother Don is on the excavator now, and he says the ledge is coming back up again. You know, so that's no problem. Uh, the other solution for this is to uh, give our uh, give our six-inch sand cushion on the bottom. And then um, the cushion on top, and then just pour some cement over it. We'll put like, uh, I have a large supply of uh, inch and a half blue styrofoam insulation. We can cut panels of that, lay it on top, and then use that as forms, and uh, put our, uh, put our, just pour some concrete on top, and that will be additional protection against digging that would damage the cable which is the whole point of having 24 inches below and uh, 12 inches above the cable there's supposed to be some uh, what they call electrical tape uh, it can be metallic tracer tape or it can simply be plastic like engineers tape but it'll, it's designed it actually says electric cable and you put that underground and when people are digging and they run into that they know they're running into electric cable and they'll stop or so the theory goes now my brother Don has run equipment like this many many years ago so he's getting the feel for the machine I've started getting the feel for it but uh, it's a small machine it uh, it's not like your heavy-duty excavators, your backhoes, you see a lot of the professionals using. This is just a light-duty machine. Yeah, that ledge is coming right back up to the top. So, so much for sandy soil running up and down the road here. So we're in the ledge again. But we have a solution for it. We're going to finish the trench. We'll have it done today. And then I'll find something else to do with the escalator. I got it for the whole weekend.
see if I can set you down here. It's a thrilling world of trench digging. That's pretty much how it works. You know, again, that stone ledge is coming back up, so we'll have to work around that. But as you can see, we're almost, we're almost up to the house now. We've got a pretty good trench going here. We are going to work our way closer to the house, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll end up right around here and then go from here into the house a little bit because the cable the uh, breaker panel is going to be right inside that wall there somewhere uh, I don't know about five or six feet above that seam right up in there and then uh, We'll be good, and as you can see, the ditch is working its way back this way, so we're going to be in pretty good shape. So I'm going to pause, and uh, we'll be back when uh, we get a little closer to being done.